Hello and welcome to OEA's Top 4 at 4, where we discuss the top four issues facing public education. I'm Amanda Ewing and I'm going to get things started with Senate Bill 1073. This may be the most important bill that has not yet been heard, and if the Senate doesn't hear it tomorrow, it will be dead for the year. Now, Senate Bill 1073 would halt the tax cut that took effect in January of this year. Along with a couple of other changes in the bill, this would fill about 215, I'm sorry, $250 million of next year's budget hole. As a reminder, the budget hole is expected to be around $1.3 billion, and right now, our lawmakers aren't seeming to find any real solutions for that. If they don't find solutions, that hole is going to have to be filled by cutting our schools further than they already have. And so uh, what we're urging you to do today is to encourage Senator Bingman and Senator Schultz, the, uh, the guys that head up the Senate and get to decide what bills are heard, let's please call them, uh, the phone number is right there on your screen, to tell them to hear Senate Bill 1073. And if you want to take a further step, please contact your senator and encourage them to support Senate Bill 1073. Now, Ivy, why don't you uh, give us an update about what's going on with deregulation? So the uh, deregulation bill is Senate Bill 1187, and it's the one that would allow a school district to deregulate to basically charter school status. So they could choose to do away with things like hiring certified teachers, paying a minimum salary schedule, providing health care benefits, paying into teacher retirement, some things that uh, we feel like are uh, one's things we have to protect. Uh, this, all, this bill also must be heard by the end of the day tomorrow or it goes away. Uh, so we uh, encourage you to continue to contact your senators and ask them to vote no. It has been slightly amended, but uh, no substantive changes that, uh, you know, it, it still has everything in the bill that uh, we disagree with and that we feel like needs to be protected. So please contact your senator and, and ask them to vote no. Thanks, Heidi. Now, Nick, uh, fill us in on what's going on with the vouchers. All right, uh, this is Nick Singer. And um, first, uh, just want to say great job on communication. Um, your representatives and senators are definitely hearing from you. Um, we've had many mentions of hundreds of emails coming in um, opposing the two voucher bills. So there are two, two voucher bills out there, uh, House Bill 2949 and Senate Bill 609. Um, there are new amendments on both of them uh, designed to try and win back some votes that they need to get them passed. Um, even with the amendments, it's just a foot in the door for some really bad stuff for public ed. So we are still a very, very firm no. Um, House Bill 2949 can be heard as soon as tonight, um, around 645, and Senate Bill 609 can be heard at any time. So if you have not reached out uh, to your representative or senator, please do so and urge them to vote no on uh, both the voucher bills. Thanks, Nick. Now, finally, our last topic relates to our current budget that we are in right now for the 15-16 school year. The state superintendent, the governor, and the Senate are all in agreement that the state should use a portion of our rainy day fund to offset those recent budget cuts that were announced last week. There's $145 million available that could be used this year. That's not the whole uh, total of the fund. That's just the portion that can be used this year. And Superintendent Hoffmeister and Governor Fallon both recommend using approximately $50 million for public education, and the Senate agrees with them. The problem, though, is that the Speaker of the House and House leadership are now opposing the use of that money. We are not sure why. It's hard to, it's hard to see why uh, they would not think that this is a rainy day and we need to use that emergency fund, but uh, we do all need to contact our representatives and encourage them to please use the rainy day fund immediately and help our schools. As you know, we've, uh, the budget cuts we've experienced so far are too far. We do not need to go further, and uh, there's money available today to prevent that from happening. So please be sure to contact your representative, and let's make sure they understand that uh, public education and its supporters expect the use of those emergency funds for this emergency. That's all we've got for today. I hope you'll join us again next week. Thanks very much for being here, and we'll talk to you soon.